Hey you guys, it's Joe D and today I want to talk to you about blow drying your beard. That's right, I want to talk to you about blow drying your beard, but this is going to seem a little bit weird. This is actually going to be the first video in a series of videos that I'm doing about trimming your beard. So you might be asking yourself, why would you style your beard before you trimmed it? And my response to that would be, well, when are you trimming your beard? Are you rolling out of bed looking in the mirror, seeing some shaggy spots and hacking away at your face? Do not do this. It is not a fair barometer with the way that your beard is going to look after you have styled it because eventually you're going to take a shower, your beard's going to have a wash, and you're going to be looking in the mirror and thinking that your beard looks like, well, it's, it's going to look like, uh... Are you trimming your beard when it's wet? This is not a great idea either. When your beard is wet, it absorbs a lot of moisture. and Because of that, it gets weighted down. It looks straighter, it looks longer. So if you trim your beard when it's wet, after it dries, it's gonna curl up a bit and you're gonna think to yourself, I took way too much off of my beard. So let's avoid these things. Let's go through our usual beard routine before we have a trim. And the perfect tool for the job for me is a blow dryer. I use a blow dryer every single day. It offers me a manageability. It offers me a uh, beard straightness that I can't get with towel drying alone. So that is what today's content is actually going to be. I'm going to be showing you how I style my beard with a blow dryer. Now again, keep in mind, this uh, serves as a means to prepare or prime my beard for a trim, but can just as easily be used as a uh, blow drying tutorial. So without further ado, let's create some post-shower bedhead beard face. That'll do. Alright guys, so my beard is just towel dry right now, which is what we're going for. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab a wide tooth comb and just run it through gently just to get the tangles out. Now then we're going to switch to a boar's hair bristle brush. And this is a perfect tool for this job because we can apply a little bit of tension to our beard hairs to straighten them and follow with the blow dryer to set that straightness in place which should look a little bit like this. All right, guys, after your beard is dry and relatively straight, just run your brush through it one more time. Just get everything kind of laying in the direction that it should be. All right, guys, your beard is looking its best. It is at its baseline. This is the time to trim your beard. Or if you were just using this as a styling guide, you could slap some beard oil on and hit the town. But before any of that happens, it is interesting to note the change that takes place in our beards when heat and tension are applied. How does using a blow dryer turn this monstrosity <laughs> into this pile of pretty? The answer is of course, science. All right, guys, this is a beard hair. Well, no, it's not. It's, it's cardboard that I cut out of a uh, pizza box, but it will work as a visual aid. Now, you'll notice that our hair here is a little zigzaggy, and this is an inherent quality of beard hair or curly hair, for that matter. And to each one of these bends is a hydrogen bond. Now, when we apply moisture and heat, we're able to break these bonds down and make everything kind of loosey-goosey. And then through tension, we can straighten the hair. Now, all things in our body not wanting to stay in a state of instability, these hydrogen bonds are gonna reform and we're able to set this hair in a straight position. See, science, it's cool. So what's the takeaway here, guys? It is better to style your beard first and then trim it. It'll prevent anything regrettable from happening to your face, but trimming is another video. The next video, in fact. All right, guys, that's all I have for you this time. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to try to post the uh, trimming portion of this series later on this week. But until then, I am Joe D, and be well.
I have really got to step up my visual aid game.